Hello everyone, and today I'm doing a Lego review. I've never really done one before, but they were looking at a set that I has been out for like around two years now, but I still really wanted to make a review on it, and it is the Lego Star Wars Razor Crest 75292. I think that's the set number. I'm not too sure, but I mean, like, I'm just guessing. I'm pretty sure it's set number 7525. It's... Yeah, 75292, I'm pretty sure. And so this set, um, also, so yeah, this set also comes with five minifigures. Comes with five minifigures, 1,023 pieces, and retails for $180 Canadian. And so, like, I got mine from a garage sale, new and sealed as well, and got to save, like, $50, which was an absolute steal. S especially because I also got it new and sealed as well. Like brand new and sealed. So yeah, we'll start off by looking at the minifigures. So I don't have like a tripod or like a thing that you can use to like spin your minifigures around. So I'm going to have to review like this. So this is the Mandalorian. This is the this is the Mandalorian no Beskar armor. This is, so this is the one we've been using since like... Like we've been using this one since like 2019. But he's only appeared in two sets. Like he's only appeared in this set and... The first ever Mandalorian set that came out in 2019, the ATSD Raider. But, yes, I do think, or when this set first came out, I do think it should have had the best Gar armor. But, I still really like this um, Mandalorian. He's got, like, his, like, blaster that we all know. And, yep, under his head, he's just black because, or just a black head because um, we didn't, because when this figure came out, we didn't know who the Mandalorian was. He's got um his gray cape and his helmet is actually very dark because it's not like the Beskar helmet. The helmet that we get at the Beskar armor is like way lighter than this. But yeah, I really do like his detail on I do really like his leg print and his torso print. But this is a pretty nice figure all around. And I'm gonna give it a this figure a solid seven out of ten. So next up here we have Grief Karga, and this Grief Karga is actually exclusive to the set. He's got his two blasters. The blasters aren't exclusive though. These things come in like five thousand sets maybe. But um yeah, I also he has no like printing though, which is kind of disappointing. But we do have, or but he does have an alternate face. He's got like a cranky face, and then um his back face is just like a happy face. And he's also got some back printing as well. I never even knew that. That's kind of cool. And yeah, that's really it for this figure. Just a very bland, solid, basic figure. Um, I don't really, I really have much to say about this, so I'm just gonna give it a six out of ten. And so next up, this is probably my favorite figure in the set, mainly just because I really like the design. I know this figure's not exclusive at all, but I really like the design for these. It's the Scout Trooper. And I've always really liked Scout Troopers. I've always loved the design of them. Scout Troopers are really nice. And you just got the clone face of up or under the helmet. But yeah, this one has got lots of detail. You've got torso and leg printing. Same with leg printing at the back. You've got helmet printing on the back as well. Helmet printing on the front. Like, obviously. I never knew that. Okay. And yep, he's got a blaster. Again, not exclusive because it's coming like 5,000 sets. And yes, and that, this, this set did really come. This set really did come with a bunch of basic figures. And this is another one that's really basic and is really common. So I'm. But I really do like the design of Scout Troopers. So I'm going to give this figure a 9 out of 10. Next up, we have IG 11. And IG 11 is very different too. The other minifigures in the set, because you can see, like, we put, like, Mandalorian there. He's using, like, minifigure pieces, while he's, like, a droid, so he's using a bunch of bigger pieces, and he's using more pieces. Like, his head's two pieces, his arm and his torso are separate. Actually, no, his head's three pieces, because you got the clip thing there. And then he got a blaster on the back, so you could probably take that off if you wanted to, and put the other one on the back, but... I keep that this because it's the one it tells you to put on the back, but he's already got a blaster as well, and his legs are um not part of 
the torso. It's a separate piece. And yeah, eh, decent figure, I guess. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 as well, kind of like what I did with the grief cargo. But um, yeah, another very decent figure. Now we're probably gonna move on to a um, a figure that's not really a mini figure in this set, but I still want to count him as one because it says on the box. Last figure, which I don't feel like is a mini figure, but the Lego, but the box is calling it a mini figure. It is the child, and you can just see how small this thing is. It's like the size of my finger. This thing is absolutely tiny. He, the only thing I will say is he's very chunky right there, but this figure is really adorable, and his. You don't, and you don't have to worry about his head like snapping because it's just rubber unless he like took scissors and actually just cut his ears off, but it is rubber. And yeah, you can even see as well, like put the Mandalorian next to it and like it's, a, it's the size of his helmet. He is very tiny. <laughs> just throw him around. Okay, I don't want to crack him, but. But yes, <laughs> not I don't really count him as a minifigure, but the box does, so I say he is. Now let's move on to the Razor Crest. Also, I'm gonna give this a 11 out of 10 for a minifigure. All right, so here's the Razor Crest, and one thing I didn't realize when I was done it is just really how massive it is. This thing is huge. It's also as well only got like a thousand twenty three pieces, but. Kind of makes sense because this thing is also using like big pieces as well but yes this set is really detailed on all sides and i love it so we're gonna so really i'm just gonna start off with the interior so this set has lots of interiors so you can we'll start off here you can the gun part you can pull it down you can take some take some spring load shooters and then next to that you got the loading ramp and there's some studs there so if you want to you could put like the child which is something I, I do sometimes you can pull down this huge panel as well and you can see some of the interior it's very bland but and then you can the, another boarding ramp you can walk up into the razor breast this one can come down as well so pretty much the entire bottom can just open up but this one however is gonna be a little bit different because if you pull out these you can see some bounty hunters and carbonite which i think oops, which i think is really cool and it also so it has lots of detail and so yeah they just slide and just get just get it right and then it's fine and so yeah that and then they're both different as well you can you can try and memorize that one this one's this but yes i still really think that is really really cool kind of fun little easter egg kind of as well and then you can put this boarding ramp down and then if you pull down this one you can see the mandalorian's bed which um if we get rid of his blaster you would you will have to flip the cape though which i actually kind of like because you can make a like like a blanket so yeah he's got a blanket and he's just gonna sleep there but yes you really can see how much interior there is on this side so like you can you can fit all the figures here you can put like mando there we've already got the child you can put grief carga right there hey uh, flip this around yeah this thing is huge you put the scout trooper there and but ig11 is going to be quite difficult because he is way too big so i just like to just drop him in there but yes every figure can fit inside this this even we'll get to it in, this in a sec but like this even every figure can just fit can just fit in like the just the normal area and then you got his blaster but yeah that is still really cool it's so, that i'm not sure how that happened oh it was probably something to do with the child maybe and I'll just pull every figure out. Um, you can skip two. 
rinse it down if you want to. Just pull this out and boom, we've got everything here. So I'm gonna close this all up now. But yeah, really all you can see um, when you get this thing all down is just really technic, just holding the top part up. So yeah, nothing too special about the interior on the bottom. So next up, we are gonna move. Oh yeah, I flipped this. We're gonna move to the cockpit right here. So you got like a small little handle there, and it just clips off. Then you can take. You got two seats actually. So in the front seat, you can put the Mandalorian. So you just stick them on the front there. And if you wanted to as well, you could actually take the child and just put him right, put him on Mando's hand. And you've got an extra seat as well, so you can put figures like Scout Trooper Grief Cargo for the purpose of it. And for it to be more realistic, I'll put Grief Cargo. So you just clips on right there. And. And, oh, yeah, we gotta take them off for a second. And if you're wondering where you can put Mando's weapon, you can just, you can put him, or you can put it, like, in the bottom, or flip this thing up, and we got a few clips there to put weapons, which I love. Close that up. Put Grief Cargo back in. I know a lot of people have already seen reviews on this set, but I still want to review it because... For people that haven't even though i know everybody has and yes it does look pretty nice you can see the child in there and then the, the final or uh, the final part that can open up is if you look right here you can clip this off and you got a little skate pod you can take it off or you can take, clip off this top part and you could put figures like the scout trooper in so you can stick them in there it's perfectly and then you can even see him so that is really cool if you have nowhere to put the scout trooper and then ig11 just got to go in the bottom or just can't go in and then the final play feature i want to mention is um stud or spring load shears if you put these down then it will launch the spring load shooters and it is on both sides so there's another one up there. So yes, this set is, I love this set. And so this set is great for playability and all that. And I think it's really accurate to the show as well. So I'm now gonna take all the figures out and I'm gonna end the video. But before I do, I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this set. And I can show the box as well. Overall, I really do think that this is a great set and don't, my, really, my only flaw to this set is I just feel like it could have had better minifigures. Like, the minifigures, to me, just feel very bland. Like, you don't get a Mandalorian best armor, which, like, I'm kind of fine with now. But at first, I really wasn't. But now I actually am because this one's actually less common. And I feel like Grief Cargo maybe could have been better. I mean, like, we also got a Season 2 Grief Cargo now. But yeah, IG-11, Child, and Scout Trooper are really nice. Eh, IG-11 is decent, I guess. But the Child and the Scout Trooper are really nice figures. So because of this, but overall, uh, amazing build and amazing play, or er, amazing playability. And I'm going to give this set a solid 9 out of 10. So that is my review on this set. But before we go, if you wanted to, I... If you wanted to see the box, I brought it out, but I think about the instruction manuals in my bin for my instruction manuals, so I can't, um, really, but we can take this off the stand. And yeah, so yeah, this is the box you've got. Oh yeah, 75292, so I did get it right. And yep, it says the Mandalorian, all the minifigures. And yeah, you can even see the child. And yeah, you got the white Greveling with the Mandalorian. Got uh, side art, side box art, and down the back, it's also pretty nice. But yes, overall, I give this set a solid 9 out of 10. And yes, would I recommend this set for the main question is would I recommend this set for $180?
Well, if you're a person that um, cares on sets for peace count, then if you're one of those people that um, wants to get lots of pieces for your price, then if you're one of those kids that, um, that um, cares about price per piece, then no, I wouldn't get this set then. If you're one of those kids that cares about price per piece, I'm not. I'm I'm a kid that cares. I'm a person that cares about the size of the set. So, if you're one of the person people that um does the size, then yes, I would 100% recommend this set. This set is amazing. I love it, and yeah, I'm giving it a solid nine out of ten. But the price, I will. The price I, is the only, really the only argument I can have with this set. Really, just the price and the minifigures, but. So yeah, that is it, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys with another review, maybe tonight, if, I'm, if I can, but most likely tomorrow. Thinking of doing maybe like the Daily Bugle, or the, the LEGO 2020 ATAT, or maybe even the Yoda. But yeah, see you guys, and see you guys with another review too soon.